Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to quickly talk about my E3 predictions for Nintendo. I'm not saying that the other presentations weren't that uh, interesting, it's just that, you know, I, uh, I was really focused on Nintendo. Obviously, from the recent videos I uploaded on the channel, there's a few stuff that surprised me here and there. You know, from my list, you know, obviously I reacted to Mario and Rabbids, uh, the new Avatar open world game the Guardians of the Galaxy game, and as well as the all the collections for the Life is Strange series. Um, but, you know, other than that, not too many big things for me personally. Um, there's a few more stuff that I kind of wanted to look at in regards to, you know, games. There was the Kena Bridge of Spirits showcase that they did. That's definitely another game I want to add to the collection for the PS5, along with, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Ratchet and & Clank Rift Apart. Um, and if there's anything else I could add, it's probably Phoenix Wright, like the new Phoenix Wright game coming out for the Switch, um, the Ace Attorney Origins or whatever it's called. Um, I'm thinking about pre-ordering that game, but we'll see because if they announce anything else during E3, it might take up the space as well as, you know, other games that I already plan to do. So, in regards to Nintendo, definitely a lot of stuff people are expecting. People are hoping that Nintendo saves E3, um, but for me, Personally, I mean, I know people are excited for stuff that I might be excited about too. Uh, the, the obviously the big three are you know Breath of the Wild 2, uh, Metroid Prime 4, and most likely a Smash character. But I feel like we're definitely gonna get a Smash character. We might get something on Zelda, and hopefully we get something on Metroid Prime 4. Now, I'm definitely interested to see what the game looks like. I never really played the originals, so it's not like I'm dying to play those. I feel like maybe if I do play the originals, or maybe, hey, it, maybe they could finally announce that trilogy, right? Maybe I'll definitely give it a try and I'll become a fan. But, you know, in my case, what I'm mostly interested in, obviously, the Nintendo Direct, and specifically Smash. Definitely excited to see who they add, so that's the one big thing I'm definitely looking forward to. Don't know if they're only going to release one character or two, but hey, uh, I'm, I'm excited anyways. The other uh, game series I'm definitely excited to see that hopefully, hopefully we get something on is Bayonetta 3. Definitely excited to see what that game's going to look like. And if the potential Switch Pro rumors are real, then maybe that's definitely the game to showcase it with. Um, you know, maybe that game is the best one, maybe Metroid Prime 4. Zelda, I mean, I feel like it could run on the regular Switch, but eh, who knows, they could probably surprise us. So for me, the biggest ones are pretty much what everybody's thinking about as well. Zelda, Metroid, and Bayonetta. Um, any surprise stuff that they include, I mean, they might, you know, re-talk, no, re-talk, re, well, I guess they can, yeah, reintroduce Mario Plus Rabbits, maybe like an additional trailer, something else for Phoenix Wright, but that's from stuff we already saw. Um, What's a crazy pick um, or, or a wish that I have? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they can bring the whole Kingdom Hearts collection to the Switch, right? The whole, um, what's it called? The Story So Far collection. Don't know if we'll get Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, if anything, this should make a, like, like um, stylized version. Like, you know, you know the Winnie the Pooh world? How it's all cell shaded? I feel like that's what they should do for the full game to maybe make it more playable on the Switch. I mean, I don't know. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Like, I'm not expecting anything else. Maybe there's something I am forgetting, but I I just, I don't know. I mean, there's not a lot of big stuff to look forward to, um, you know, at least right now. Everything is later this year, which I guess is obvious, because if I have to think about stuff that I want to play later on, I mean, there's the Pokemon remakes. Definitely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Diamond. That's like my OG Pokemon game, so... Definitely excited for that. Uh, obviously, the Arceus game is later this year. Or, sorry, no, that's um, next year, so I'm not going to think about that. Um, Splatoon 3, that's the same, who knows. So I'm thinking, like, if they announce anything particular, like a Bayonetta 3, and they say it's releasing maybe later this year, maybe next year, I'll go ahead and schedule a playthrough of the original games. I mean, um, I have played Bayonetta 1. And I've never finished Bayonetta 2, so definitely going to be exciting to actually play it on the channel. Um, and then right after that, maybe even Astral Chain. Uh, man, if and like I said in my predictions video for the Smash character, if they announce Akira as one of the characters, I'm skipping over Bayonetta and just playing Astral Chain. But uh, but if not, then I'll still add it to the list because that game is so much fun. And, and I was actually 
re-watching like the original debut trailer and just maybe want to play the game even more. If you haven't played it already, definitely give Astral Chain a try, as well as the other Bayonetta games. Um, for Zelda, I'm currently playing Breath of the Wild. Um, we're about to go and save Daruk. I guess you could say we're going to do the City of the Gorons next, but that will probably be next week. So I, I think it's a good place to leave it off because so far this week, I'm most likely just going to focus on E3 and trailers. Um, so what? I think I should be done by Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'll probably uh, kind of shift focus into my movie channel because there's a lot of trailers I need to get done for that and maybe some reviews. Um, but who knows? Um, I don't know what else they could possibly announce for Nintendo. That's just, I feel like I, I'm not going to bring my expectations too high because you know how nintendo is they they put little stuff here and there um i mean who knows maybe they'll show a trailer for i, mean, I don't know i'm hoping for something sonic don't know why i think that nintendo's the place where they'll do it but if they show anything on the new sonic or heck uh, heck heck um something on colors right i wouldn't be too upset i mean colors so far there's been a few gameplay uh, videos out and it's looking beautiful definitely expect a playthrough on that on the channel um but hey i really want to see what the next um sonic game is hopefully they show a little bit more on maybe the supposed sonic rangers but hey um i don't know i mean that's that's what else can i pick i mean i'm not like a big you know nintendo kind of like scavenger right i'm not like looking for crazy games there's some games that i would like to play that have already come out but my switch is just full on everything and i and i i, I could potentially ouch i could potentially um you know archive some games but man there's just so many i mean from big titles there's what xenoblade and stuff like that but there's also, also stuff that I want to play and I haven't really got around to do it. I mean, like I said, I want to do all the Bayonetta games as well as, you know, um, Zelda. I mean, I have some other games that I've been wanting to play. I mean, I have to finish the whole Mario collection as well so I can move on to Mario Odyssey and play it on the channel. And who knows what else? I mean, I have tons of games that I definitely want to try out or play on the channel um, that I guess I was saving for a special occasion, like, you know, a time of time of day no a time of year right uh, some games are scary here i got a lot of like indie horror games so maybe you know those could be uh during halloween um but of course i want to play new games as well and i think that you know it might be weird that i say this but i hope that most of the stuff they announce is for later this year or maybe even next year because if i uh you know now that i'm shifting i'm not going to shift uh, uh focus since there is no PlayStation <laughs> E3, I definitely hope to get a PlayStation and play, like I said, the games I've missed or whatever they announce. Because, I mean, hey, we definitely want to play, you know, Ratchet and Clank, Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 8. I mean, I'm, I'm playing 7 right now, and I, I, the way it's going, I've already defeated two bosses. Don't know what else I need to do. Um, but, I mean, there's so much stuff I want to play. And, heck, even games I've missed on PlayStation, I mean, I played Miles Morales on the channel, but I definitely want to play Spider-Man, so may- Oh, you know what? See, that's why we need a PlayStation E3. I mean, come on, Spider-Man 2, where are you? <laughs> but back to Nintendo, um, I'm just super excited. Like I said, I just want to see what these games are looking like. Um, honestly, my biggest thing, even more than Zelda, is Bayonetta. I think that's my number one, like, please let me see something about it, like, just how she looks with the new graphics and everything. Because, I mean, if Bayonetta on the Wii U looked the way it did and it was looking beautiful, just imagine on the Switch, like, man. Like, Astro Chain was super stylish, too. But, you know, um, definitely hoping to see maybe something on Metroid, right? See, you know, maybe maybe, maybe Samus is going to look really good. And, I mean, that's, that's like, they should really, you know, do something. That, that could be our Halo, you know what I mean? <laughs> Space Adventure. Heck, maybe in, maybe in a Star Fox game. I hear... That, you know, Star Fox Zero was kind of fun, but because it was on the Wii U, not a lot of people tried it. And what was that other game Star Fox appeared in? They did a crossover, and I, I hear that one was really cool. Definitely, I think that's another one I missed that wouldn't mind trying out. But, I mean, man, that's just the, the big three people are really hoping for. If it's not, you know, Zelda, it's Bayonetta, or, you know, um, 
I'm forgetting the name of it already. Uh, what did I say? Zelda, Bayonetta, and Metroid, right? Obviously, um, maybe we'll get more trailers on games we already know about. You know, for example, the Pokemon games. Um, but, you know, there's also little stuff there that personally I'm not looking forward to. Like, if they announce a new Donkey Kong game, you know, whatever. If they announce uh, Mario Party or something like that. ARMS 2, imagine that. Because, you know, I, I, ARMS was super fun. But I guess because it's like, like I, like I said in my previous video... It was like the first of its kind, so it's, you know, not a lot of content other than fighting, which I guess that first year was really, you know, really popular, but it, it, I think every game, every fighting game goes through this. The game is really popular when it comes out, then it gets a little boring, then they start adding characters, and, and then it's hype again, and then once the that whole thing ends, you know, that's when the game gets boring. I mean, not just for, you know, just look at Smash. The only reason why people are still hype is because they're adding characters. Otherwise, I mean, I... Honestly, I hardly play Smash, you know? I only play Smash when my cousin comes in or when there's a new character. Or sometimes when I feel like playing. Uh, I recently been playing a little bit more because I wanted to capture footage. But man, like, you know, games like that. So I feel like an ARMS 2 would be really interesting with an actual story mode. Because, believe it or not, there was actually a lot of lore in ARMS. And I mean, who knows what they'll announce. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of memes or, or complaints about how we haven't gotten a new Mario Kart game in a while. But Mario Kart 8 is so good, I don't think it needs a sequel. I mean, uh, it's been, it has been long, believe it or not. For me, it feels like just yesterday when it was announced, but apparently, I mean, the game was what, revealed in 2013, 14? I, I saw a post that there was a girl who was in high school, and now she's graduating from college, and, and she's still playing Mario Kart. And I guess that's true, but man, like, I haven't really touched Mario Kart, so to me, Mario Kart 8 is perfect. Like, I, I could just go go in if I ever do feel like playing Mario Kart, and it feels like new, because all they need to do is just make more DLC. Like, how do we have Captain Falcon's car in the game, but not Captain Falcon itself? You could literally make Mario Kart just like Smash Bros. and just bring racers. Imagine that, like, famous racing characters, or I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, a new... I mean, a new Mario Kart, whatever. I mean, I, if, I, if I look at my list here, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been playing a lot of crazy Nintendo games right now. Like, if I'm not playing something for the channel, uh, let's see, let's see. Well, I mean, I'm looking here at the Hyrule Warriors DLC. Uh, maybe they'll do something on that. And maybe, you know, if one of my theories is correct, maybe they'll introduce Impa as the next character and tie it in with the DLC. Or, I mean, what else do I play? Kingdom Hearts, Memory of Memory, maybe we'll get Sora. Um, Fortnite, yo, if they release Samus for Fortnite, like, I just think that that's, I'm thinking, I'm looking around here, games, Persona, I don't think they'll add another Persona character, I mean, Joker is really good, but, you know, Strikers is a really fun game. Maybe, I, I didn't, I think I mentioned this on my, in my predictions, but Resident Evil would be another cool character to add, um, maybe Leon, I, I'm pretty sure Jill would be the one they would pick, uh, I think she should really get it, um, uh, what else, what else, I don't know, I mean, uh, Ring Fit Adventure? <laughs> I don't know. That would be like a waste of spot. You know, not really waste because like Wii Fit Trainer is pretty pretty good in the game. So maybe like an alt skin, but I, I feel like that's too late. An Echo Fighter? I don't know. I don't know if they'll introduce any more packs, but like, yeah, you know, from what I'm looking at here, obviously I'm excited for Breath of the Wild 2. What if they announce a Mario Odyssey 2? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the Mario Collection? Oh yeah, Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, hopefully more about that maybe uh, some sort of improvement maybe even a you know zelda collection for the actual 35th anniversary i know you know we have super mario 3d all-stars i have that game um definitely hoping to continue it someday but if they do a zelda game what do you guys think will be the zelda games they pick um i know we have a like they wouldn't do they wouldn't put skyward sword in that collection because it's already sold separately right unless they bring um wind waker and twilight princess hd back what do you think they would do? Do you think they would put one of the... They would remake Ocarina of Time or, or Majora's Mask? Interesting. I'm not sure. I guess if they want to like do a collection, uh, they could add Link's Awakening, but mm, I don't know. For Zelda, I mean, I don't know what they would do. Heck, they could even tie in Impa for a 30th anniversary, but there's just so many little stuff. Like right now, I'm just looking at my list of what I currently have. But, you know, I mean, what, Luigi's Mansion? But I don't think they'll, they'll announce on Luigi's Mansion 4, right? Who knows? But 
honestly, that's pretty much my big predictions. I'm here kind of sitting, looking at my list, seeing if there's anything that else, anything else that comes up. But that's the thing. I I enjoy what, what Nintendo brings, right? I know it's been technically two years since the last E3, but they still have released games, right? During that time, during the whole 2020. To me, I, I think that's why 2020 flew by so fast, because there were so many games to play and, and keep us busy. I mean, what? I can't believe that Animal Crossing was such a big game last year, you know? And, and now it's, you know, we were, we were hoping for it, and, and it's come and gone, and now we're just looking for the next thing, right? So, to me, I... I don't know what to expect, you know? There's so many things that they could surprise us with. If anything, I mean, definitely hoping for, you know, Zelda, right? Just to see something, but... And, and, and it's looking at Metroid would be pretty interesting, see what the game is like, but to me, I think the biggest thing is, like, definitely excited to see who the next Smash character is. Is it going to be one character or two? And then, you know, hopefully something on Bayonetta 3. I think Bayonetta 3 is my most anticipated game for Nintendo. Like... No, and, and so that's what I'm mostly looking forward to, but I'm definitely excited to see other stuff they showcase, other stuff that might surprise us, like new IPs or new whatever. But um, I don't know, maybe I am now getting my expectations too high. If anything, this is a 40 minute presentation, so there's probably a lot of stuff they can go and, and, and talk about. But you know, if it's anything like some of the other presentations we've gotten, uh, it could be a letdown. Of course, I don't think that it'll be like maybe Square Enix's presentation where they kind of um, put a lot of time on Guardians, even though Guardians of the Galaxy looks like a pretty good game, not gonna lie. Um, but I think that, you know, we'll see what Nintendo brings. And then I'll, you know, from that, I'll go ahead and schedule my channel and see what I play. Cause obviously I wanna finish what I'm currently playing, but I wanna make sure that I start and finish uh, whatever specific game is related to whatever gets announced, I guess you would say. I mean, like I said, the biggest stuff, just to end things off, you know, is the big three. Show me something on Breath of the Wild. Uh, let's see if, you know, hopefully uh, Metroid is, is finally started. I would love to see what the new, new generation game would look like. And maybe it would get me into the series. And definitely, definitely please give us at least something on Bayonetta. Um, anything else that you know you do might be a surprise, but we'll see. I mean, I know this is going to be scheduled like a regular E, um, not an E3, um, a regular direct. So we should just treat it like one. But because it's E3, that's when you you know go go all out, right? So. I think I've rambled on long enough. I probably repeated myself. I've just really just gone into a circle. So my biggest things is, you know, those three games, any possible surprises, and, you know, just hope for the best, right? Uh, so with that being said, I'm probably just going to end it here. I've already been rambling for 20 minutes. Don't even know if I have enough footage. I'll probably put gameplay footage of different games I've mentioned, of Smash, whatever. I don't know. But hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I upload. And until next time, bye.